Hi, my name is Nicole Scott, and I love to edit video. I spend a lot of time traveling, so when Microsoft announced the Surface Book, a month after it hit the streets, I hopped on a plane to New York to pick up what should have been the best Windows editing machine on the market. It turns out that even though I waited, my Surface Book is still a little bit buggy. It's often a victory if I can turn it on, the battery runtime is half of what they said it was going to be, and the camera for Windows Hello only turns on half the time. Oh, and all the blue screens. I'm still using the Surface Book because I love the keyboard and the futuristic form factor, but I wanted to see what else was out there, so I decided to check out three different editing machines. The ASUS UX303UB is a 13.3 inch laptop sporting a NVIDIA GTX 940M with a dual core Core i7, 8GB of RAM while weighing in at only 3.2 pounds. It's light, powerful, and it's half of what I paid with the Surface Book. I like to keep things really portable, so I often don't look at 15 inch devices, but since laptops are starting to drop in weight, it's kind of realistic to carry one around. So I wanted to see what a gaming machine would do for video editing. I went with the ASUS ROG 501. This is a 15.6 inch beast, but it's still pretty portable at 2.29 kilos or about five pounds. It's sporting the NVIDIA GTX 960M and a quad core i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it's about $1,000 less than what I paid for the Surface Book. And since we're checking out 15 inch notebooks, the professional version of the XPS 15, the Precision 15 5000 series, it's a little more expensive than what I paid for the Surface Book at around 2,600, but it comes with an Intel Xeon quad core processor. Xeon is something that I'm used to hearing only in server processors and an Nvidia Quadro M1000M with two gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So in terms of specifications, this really blows everyone else out of the water. And even though it's got a big footprint at 15.6 inches, I'll really consider it because it only weighs in at 3.93 pounds, which is still a little heavier than the Surface Book at 3.34 pounds. Let's take a closer look at CPUs and graphics cards. Xeon is a product name that, like I said, usually comes with servers. The ROG laptop is running a full quad-core processor, just like the Dell. But the Surface Book and the UX303 are running a dual-core U-series, which means that they consume less power, uh, but they provide longer battery life. The U-series processor isn't as high performance as a full quad-core, like in the other two, but it's a little more mainstream and suited towards a mobile lifestyle. 3D Mark takes a look at the graphic potential of the CPU, and Cinebench is the raw compute power. As far as video editing goes, we decided to take the same editing project and export it with the same number of basic effects like color correction, brightness and contrast, and transitions. The clip is 5 minutes in length, and based on the hardware specifications, you can see that the Dell is the quickest of the bunch, but it's the most expensive. Adding in the QHD display is 300 bucks and makes it around $2,700. The ROG comes in next, but it's nearly half the price at around $1,500. The U-series processors offer stronger battery life, but you're seeing a reduction in export speeds. Surprisingly, the ASUS outperforms the Surface Book, even though you can pick it up for just over $1,000. Having said that, the ASUS came with a lot of bloatware. It took me about an hour and a half to clean it all up and optimize it, but I saw a 20% gain in performance when it came to editing after I did that. So. Which one would I choose? If I had to spend my cold, hard-earned cash all over again, I would definitely pick up the Dell Precision 15. Not only does it have the best specifications, but it also provided the best performance. And it's completely upgradable. You can take off the bottom, upgrade the RAM yourself. You can even do a dual SSD HDD combination, which aftermarket is fantastic. It's gonna really add a lot of life to your machine to be able to kind of go in and keep upgrading it to make it faster. Now, if I were to choose based on price alone, the UX 303UB by ASUS is definitely a really good choice. It's got 13.3 inches and it's, it performs pretty well. I have to admit that it performed terribly when I first got it and I had to deinstall all the bloatware and optimize the system. But after I did all of that, I got a 20% performance gain. Now it's literally half the price of the Surface Book and the Surface Book performed worse. 
So I would definitely choose the 303 uh, UB. Now I have a full review of that unit up if you wanna check that out. Now the reason why the ROG 501 isn't really making it to the top of my list, even though it performed better than the Surface Book and the 303 UB, it's because it's just too big for, for me. I mean, if I'm looking at a portable machine, it's 15.6 inches, it's 20 millimeters high, and it might only be like 4.5 pounds, but just with such a large footprint, it just doesn't feel mobile. By contrast, the Dell Precision 15 is only 11.48 millimeters thick, so it might be like wide but it's not very tall so it does kind of keep that slim portable feeling with it because it's not very thick now if that wasn't enough detail for you and i know you video editors out there probably want a lot more i actually have an article in the description below that has a lot more detail and some benchmarks and more like, details on battery life I'm, I'm hoping to actually make a series out of this where i look at individual machines a little more in depth for edit, video editing on the go because I'm looking for something uh, that's Windows based and that's very portable. So if you have any suggestions for machines that I should take a look at, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, let's start, let's start chatting. I'm your host, Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.